Welcome to the Frugal Family. My name is Julie. Good morning. Let's go dumpster diving. I'm on my own today. Mama needed some me time. Mm. Just me and the dumpsters and all of you. Let's get going. I don't need any foam right now. I really don't have room for any more crafting foam, unfortunately. <sighs> if you need crafting foam, look in your craft store dumpster if they have a framing, specialty framing department. You'll find all the craft foam you could possibly need. Oh, it smells so good. And do you know what that smell is? That smell is coffee. All right. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. <sighs> My goodness you guys yeah. <sighs> just with that bag because I know it's a goodie bag I'm fully loaded but <sighs> we better see what else is going on Are these empty? I'm guessing these are empty. No, they're not empty. Okay. Awesome. More meds. Oops, oops. Yeah, it's open, but it's vinegar. I can use it just as a cleaning product or in laundry. I put the rake away before I shut this, darn it. Well, we'll still get it done. I don't want to bring garbage with me that I don't have to. quick go through this. Okay. Oh, man. Don't worry, I'll show you everything that we found. Whew. 
Okay. Let's see what all we've got in this fabulous mystery bag. I'm going to lay it all out and show you show you what we were able to salvage. Well, get ready to be upset, frugal friends. I I don't have words. I was able to salvage the vinegar and I'll use that for cleaning. There are some granola bars they didn't reach. And then there's this. And yes, I know they're doing it because of me and other dumpster divers. I'm well aware of that. You do not need to point that out. And if you do, I will just block you from this channel because I am so pissed off right now. So you don't need to add to it. I don't know the hourly wage of a CVS employee, but what I do know is that CVS paid that hourly wage to make sure that their employee did this. This is what they had them do. This, this is what they had them do. Not dust, not tidy up, not provide extra customer service. No, no. This, my friends, is what they had them do. So I'm going to show you. I am just going to show you that this is what they pay their employees to do. In a time when people are still struggling for food, this is, this is what they're spending their money on. Hey, how about that? They didn't take the time to cut up each individual pack of candy. Well, glory be, we can salvage these individual packs of candy. God. Make excuses for them. Go ahead. I know some of you will. Sorry, I'm, I'm so upset right now, and I don't want to be rude to my fabulous, loyal viewers and frugal friends, but I know there will be some who will have something really snarky or stupid to say. This is not the time. If you have something like that, just on the tip of your tongue, on the tip of your fingers, put it away. And be human for a minute. And acknowledge that this is just utter bullshit right here. That's all this is. This is petty. This is vindictive. This is pointless and cruel. We won't be sharing any of this with family, friends, and neighbors. That will not be happening. I don't know, frugal friends. I'm gonna go take a break for a little bit. Okay, so I took a little breather and that was good. And then I remembered that under the bag of that stuff, I had the other things from the other bag that I was able to salvage. And that made me feel so much better. So, I mean, this is still unforgivable and incredibly upsetting, but this just reiterates the fact that it depends on who's working, who the employee is, who the manager is, because Look at this. So we have a package of Preparation H wipes. We have Estrovan Menopause Relief and Sleep. One, two, three, Probiotic and Cranberry. Two, Estrovan uh, Perimenopause Relief and Weight. And two, Feminine Health Probiotics. So between those... The granola bars that they didn't quite get to, the vinegar, and some odds and ends candies. We do what we can, you guys. We do as much as we can. And we try to do that in spite of the best efforts of the people that are just fighting for and paying for the right to destroy and waste. I don't want to leave you on a sad or upset note, 
frugal friends. So um, let's celebrate the fact that we were able to salvage what we did. Let's celebrate the fact that there will be other times when there's other employees and they won't pull that kind of nonsense. Let's celebrate how much we've been able to salvage in our years and years of dumpster diving. Let's celebrate how many people have benefited from it, my family and so many others. Let's celebrate especially that school is letting out this next week. And after that, I get to take a break from the retail dumpster diving and dive the public schools. And where school has been in session all year, it should make for some pretty fabulous dumpster diving, lots of saving and salvaging to do, and a much needed break from retail diving. It gets you down, you guys. It's times like this where I have to just stop and breathe, otherwise I will quit diving. And we've, we've been here before, you guys know this, we've been to this, this place many, many times before, and I'm not quitting, I'm not giving up, but it gets really disheartening. It really does. <sighs> but you guys keep me going and you're wonderful and we have a purpose and they're not gonna stop us. But we are gonna take a break and recharge with some fabulous public school dumpster diving. So please come back this weekend for that and so much more. And don't forget we have a live stream this Thursday at 11 a.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, I believe it is. So, um, or is it Mountain Daylight Time? whatever is Utah time at 11 a.m. this Thursday. I hope you'll join us. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Chin up, guys. We do as much as we can do. And uh, then try to power through the rest. Okay? All right. Bye-bye.